State Police Command on Monday paraded a dismissed officer of the Department of State Service, Prosper Israel, along with his younger brother and eight others for robbing a bullion van. The SDSS officer, his younger brother, Chiwendu Israel, along with the other eight had on the July 26, 2022, attacked a bullion van being escorted by the police on the Enugu Portacot Expressway near Intiga Junction in the Isiala Nguan North local government area of Abia State, killing in the process the cash officer on the spot. Parading the suspect at the Abia State Police Command Headquarters in Umuaya, the State Commissioner of Police, C.P. Janet Abede, said the sum of 10 million naira was recovered from the gang. According to the police boss, the arrest of the suspect followed a careful study of their modus operandi, after which the command set up a special intelligence technologically-led investigation squad, mandated with a clear directive to arrest and recover weapons used by the deadly armed robbery gang. Other suspects arrested include Ade Soji Adeniyi, aka Soji, from Ondo State, resident and arrested in Lagos State, Namdi Nwausu, aka Prophet, from River State, resident and arrested in Imo State, and Nwanchuku Albert, aka White Force Amura, from Delta State, resident and arrested in Lagos State. Others are Felis Ajalaja, from Ondo State, resident and arrested in River State. Moshud Okoyemi, aka Abiola, from Ocean State, resident and arrested in River State. Matthew Christmas, aka Alua, from Delta State, resident and arrested in Delta State. Azubike Amefula, aka Zubi, from Abia State, resident and arrested in River State. And Monday Samuel, aka MD Second Amura, from Delta State, resident and arrested in Ondo State, the CP said. Exhibit recovered from them include one general purpose machine gun with 53 rounds of life ammunition, 13 AK 47 rifles with 1,749 life ammunition, two improvised explosive dynamite, one cut to size double barrel gun with five life cartridge and 84 AK 47 magazines. Others are Mercedes Benz mini truck they use in concealing their firearms and cash of 10 million. 184,000 Naira only. All the above mentioned suspects in their individual voluntary statement confess belonging to a 14 man awful armed robbery gang with specialty in bullion van attacks, and that for about two months before the attack, the bullion van had been under the surveillance, the CP further said. She advised parents, guardians, husbands, wives, and children to always know the source of one other's livelihood. And his confessional statement, Mr. Prosper Israel said, he was dismissed from the DSS in 2007 after his service at Government House, Umuahia, Abia State, ended in 2007. This is Justin a reporting for Donker's News Lab. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and on your notification to get more updates. One thousand one hundred and ninety one ammunition of AK forty seven rifle, while that of GPMG is fifty three rounds of live ammunition with five cartridges and the sum of ten million and some fractions. Investigation is still in progress. Also, by my letters, the truck, the truck they used in, in ammunition. In my own turn, I would say is their mobile. I mean their mobile armory. If you come closer, you will see the partitions created.
Sorry. This is live here in Abia State. The Abia State Police Command parades 10 suspects. For the attack of William Van sometime last month. As you can see, this is uh, some of the arms. Hello, okay. Where is Mike? Mike, what are you doing back there? Bring the mic here. Bring it down. Bring it down. Uh, Remove the mic there now. Watch two albums. Watch two albums. From Cape Village, we are not trying to take over the United States. Okay. Can you tell us what brought you here? The connection with the Korean bar of Atum Maya. On which day? On the 26th of July. Tell us what happened. Tell us what happened. I, I was not part of the operations. You are not part of the operations? Uh, my own role is uh, to wait to drive the van, obtain the ammunition, and uh, wait for the calls from the guards. Okay, you are the one that drives uh, the, the truck. The van, and then the car is part of the ammunition. Okay, where are you based? I'm based in Anambra State. In Anambra State. So at the time you were arrested, how many guns were, were, were concealed in that van? Five AK-47, one GPMG. Why did you decide to go uh, into the crime industry? Uh, I was still dropouts and uh, we school particularly from the University of Adelphi. I didn't have the opportunity to go to school. So, University uh, of Adiokuta, Adiokiti, right? Yes, sir. Okay, what's that your name again? Machu Albert. Machu Albert. Yes, From where? From the King Village and your channel to local government. Delta In Anambra State. State. Delta State. Delta State. State. Okay, Delta State. Delta State. Now that you have been proven guilty, what do you want the Lord to do to you? It's never my intention to be part of this because uh, I have a business I do legally and I try to pay back to the society. I just got involved with this so I can get the expansion for my business. What kind of business do you do? I sell jeans here. Jeans here. That's yes. where. How many persons have you killed in the course of the operation so not, far? I have not shot a gun and I have not been in the operational bank. How many times have you robbed a bank? I have not been I have not been at the operation. Even in the process of trying to escape, you've not killed anyone. So how many I have not been in the operation. My own job is just to drive. We went to wherever they wanted to come to. And we had the ammunition. So please, the former. 
Please, uh, can, can we know your name, please? My name is Prosper Chijoke. Prosper who? Chijoke. Chijoke. From where? Prosper Mulaboy in Agua State. We learned uh, you were formerly of uh, the Department of uh, State Services. Is that correct? Yes, I served and I uh, was dismissed. Why were you dismissed? Why were you dismissed? Mm. I was dismissed uh, due to a long time. There was a transfer. When I was serving in a government house. So after. Which government house? Obviously, government house. Okay. After I was. Uh, after the services, after my services with my boss, then the governor, I returned to the office. I was asked to go back to the state I was transferred to. Before I could get there, I've been summary, summarily. Uh, I've been summarily dismissed. Dismissed. In you know, I tried and dismissed, dismissed in essential you know, the room. So it happened which year? This happened in 2007. So what so led what you your, to what is your role in this uh, operation? My role is that uh, my younger brother brought money to my house. He brought money and his colleagues to my house. And they, they shared and give me parts. So, did you ask your brother how, you know, uh, what he did and how he got the money? Yes, I did. Okay, so what did he tell you? He told me how he managed. So, what did you tell him as a law enforcement uh, officer, you know, former law enforcement officer, what, you know, should you have done? Um, the issue is that. Uh, now, the way the whole thing happened, I want to plead with the society to help us. Some of us did not intentionally choose to. But since it has happened this way, I am having a little regret. Therefore, asking for the society to forgive us. Okay, now let me come in. Uh, you are telling us you are sorry, but actually you, you participated in the operation, right? But you are sorry for what happened. Sir. I said you are asking for forgiveness, but actually you did participate in the operation, right? My participation is obvious. Okay. Because uh, I can't say that I did not participate since I could not rebuke my brother from sharing money with the house. Okay. That means I participated. So, so for do you know, know, do you know that your brother is into crime? Yes, I knew. So for how long have you been part of uh, a deal like this? This is my first time. Okay, your first time. Okay. She's okay. Hello. We are going to go. You can remove your girls.